Hey, hi everybody. Thanks for joining the Design Thinking webinar. Now, this is a free webinar. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this webinar because I've been doing this multiple times, so I have to be available. So what I thought is like, I'll get this Design Thinking webinar recorded. So it's one time I will be posting it in my Facebook, LinkedIn, and all the other channels. You will get all the links to my channel at the end of this webinar, so stay tuned. So what I wanted to know is like, if you are live, uh, if you're if you're in the live session right now, good. But then if you're also looking into my this video through YouTube or LinkedIn, Facebook or any of the channel, and if you have a comment session below, please go down and just mention these questions which i'm asking it's very important for me to know like which country you're from so like tomorrow if i have any workshop that i'm going to do in that country it will really help me to you know just invite you to that workshop right so currently i'm doing a workshop for industrial designers based out of mexico so like for example if you're in mexico i can say hey we are doing some webinars or uh, a dedicated workshop in mexico same time works for you would you like to join and stuff like that right so it will really give you that information so it's very important for me to know from which country you are from and what is the overall experience it will it will help me to add you to the advanced level or you know like if, if i'm doing certain things basics around design thinking i can add you in that um uh, yeah, it will basically help me to you know understand like which uh, where i can add you right so what is your overall experience and in design thinking what is your experience right now right like uh, do you have two years and stuff like that and also uh, well, the question here is my design thinking skill is like, do you consider yourself as a beginner? Like you just started with design thinking or you, are you just very new to it? You can say beginner if you're intermediate practicing it for like one or two years. And if you're expert that you have done multiple workshops with your client and so on and so forth. Right. And also very important question. What is the expectation out of this webinar or what is your expectation out of design thinking? Like do you want to know something more about it. Is it related to your work and things like that? So what is your expectation? You can kind of um, uh, write it down. Right. So for example, I've just given a very simple example. Just one liner is enough. So please go ahead with my request that if you just type that comment in below, it will really, really help me, right? So for example, it could be that you're from US, you have totally total five years experience and in design thinking, you have two years of experience. Design thinking level, you're saying that you're a beginner and your expectation is like, I want to know how I can practice design thinking in my current role. So if you put this in a comment box below, I keep checking my social media and all other accounts where I'm going to publish this recorded video. So this will really, really help me to understand what kind of audience I'm interacting with and you know, uh, it will really help you uh, and help us to get engaged, right? So most of the things that I do around design thinking is uh, interacting and helping each other in the in this community of design thinking, right? So by end of this uh, webinar, you will see uh, all the links to my uh, YouTube and all those things so you can have a look at it, right? So that's about it. So feel free to comment below um, in the session or think, see which uh, platform you're looking into. Try to start interaction with me. And if you have any questions, I make sure that I, I answer them for free. And you can also have some consultation booked with me through my Facebook uh, business page, which I will be giving you at the end of this webinar. All right. So without any de delay, let's go ahead. So this design thinking is my logo. This thing is our organization's logo. And we heavily use Miro and Mural, which is a free platform for design thinking. You guys can also go ahead and start your account for free in Miro and Mural, right? So that's the first takeaway from this first slide. You, you got access, you got lifelong access to Miro and Mural go ahead and try to create an account. They're pretty simple with your Google account, right? Now moving ahead. Now, uh, yeah, this is for most of the people who are uh, live in the webinar. So basically like if you want to ask any questions, just shoot it right away. You can unmute your unmute and just start talking to me. You can do that. So that's why we have this question mark here. But then if you are hearing the recorded session, please go ahead and uh, type some comments below and I'll make sure that, uh, you know, uh, I or my team will definitely reply to you, right? Um, yeah, so moving ahead. So what are we going to look into this webinar? So are you in the, the main purpose of this particular webinar, the first uh, webinar, which I'm going to, uh, you know, put it all on all my social media accounts. And basically I was doing this all repetitive as I was saying. So basically I will tell you like, who is your coach? Like who, who am I, what I do so that you get an introduction about me. So I'll speak about myself for five minutes so that you know if you're talking to the right person in the design thinking field or not and how I can help you and stuff like that. All right. Now, 
then I will give you a very sneak peek about design thinking. This is a very generic idea, like what design thinking can do across different industries. It's very important, uh, a very powerful slide, which I'll be talking about, which will really help you understand help every one of you understand like no matter if you are a psychologist you're working in a technology company you're a startup you're an entrepreneur or uh, you know whichever industry you're working with you will know how design thinking is helping all the industry so design thinking is industry neutral which is one which is very important to know the second important thing about design thinking is anyone can practice design thinking irrespective of which role they are into right so even if you are an uh, if you are just a fresher or you are even in uh, uh, you, you are you are, do, you are into some education you can still leverage design thinking understand it even if, if you are uh, just a fresher you can apply design thinking on the work and even if you are an executive or a ceo of a company you you can apply design thinking right so how how is this statement uh, which we are making around design how is it true you will come to know in this design sneak peek design thinking one very powerful slide so now when you know what design thinking is and how everybody uh, should learn design thinking which is um, uh, which is a very important uh, element in the 21st century uh, once you know that you may be um, uh, you may have an eagerness to know a little bit more about it right because this is just in half an hour a design thinking session where you just get a gist of it so i will give you an access to the design thinking practitioner level uh, certificate course uh, which will help you to go through it and you know uh, get yourself certified so this is available in udemy and i'll give you the link to it so udemy if you know it's a it's a world uh, recognized uh, uh, learning platform same like coursera and stuff like that so i'll give you access to that Plus, if you guys are interested to do a design thinking workshop with me, I'll give you that that access as well. But I won't be talking about design thinking workshop in this section, in this session of webinar. In in my coming workshops or coming webinar, I'll be talking specifically about how I conduct the webinar, how I conduct the workshop, the 15 hours workshop, what tools I use. I will show you the actual uh, videos of people interacting with me, the sessions that I have, and how you guys, um, how I run the workshop, and all those things will be in a different 30 minutes webinar which I will be doing. But as on today, the focus is just on who. I am and uh, uh, what design thinking can do, how it is relevant to all the other people and how it can help you no matter which field you are working with, which level you are, how is design thinking helping? Why is it important to embrace design thinking in this 21st century? That is the main crux of this particular webinar, right? So this is the first uh, and the most important uh, uh, you know, uh, session that we're going to have. Now, this is a little bit about myself. So, uh, my name is RK. I have 17 years of experience uh, as on today, November 2021. Uh, I have 17 years of experience in information technology field, and um, I have. Uh, I'm an ex IBMer. So, I when I was working with IBM, um, uh, they had this 40 hours of mandatory training that you have to do in a year. Uh, and uh, while I was just searching, because I'm I'm mostly from management, and I mostly do business design, and uh, I'm mostly into transition, transformation, project management, strategic management. These were these are my core uh, experience or, or expertise within this, uh, you know, 17 years in information technology. So when I heard about design thinking, it kind of well, let's see what it is, and I started. Uh, I took my first uh, certificate, which was Enterprise Design Thinking Practitioner from IBM. And then I completed the other other two certificates, which is the Team Essential Artificial Intelligence. And um, also I completed uh, uh, the Enterprise Design Thinking Co-Create uh, certificate from IBM. So once I completed the three certificates, and, uh, uh, and I also did the fourth one, which is enterprise design thinking coach level course from IBM, right? So this kind of gave me a little bit of very good idea about it and then I started practicing it. I, after I left IBM, I also, the other organization which I started working with, I was not able to kind of just let go the design thinking experience that I learned from IBM. So other companies were not following it or I was into some transition transformation role, but even though whatever designation I joined that company, I used to work with India partners. I used to work with senior executives and I used to tell them like how you can 
uh, bring up your organization to a design led company and how it can really help you and uh, i have i created the center of excellence right from inception for the for the organizations who did not have design thinking uh, in their organizations and i also started conducting workshops uh, for the organization who were already in the path of uh, design led uh, initiatives so i've conducted a lot of workshops and everything within the company uh, and this gave me more and more experience and from past 6 years i'm doing the design thinking um, and uh, uh, during this journey uh, the, one of the company that i was working with they, they were not at all um, you know they were into some classical way of operating and they never took a design thinking seriously so i felt like oh my god i'm losing my connect with design thinking and that's how i started these weekend webinars for the like minded people like you who i can just talk to leverage this knowledge uh, make people understand how design thinking is very important in this 21st century and um, connect with like minded people help them give them certain wor workshops or train them on uh, design thinking and stuff like that right so i just do this on weekend as my passion and as my interest or as my hobby you could say so uh, yeah that's that's the initiative that i am so that's about it um so yeah i think um, i'll just move ahead if you have any questions just put it down uh, in the comment section like as i said i'll be i'm recording this session and it will be live in all my social medias and then going forward in all the other webinars that i will conduct on every weekend i don't want to repeat the same thing again and again so this would be the first one and other webinars which i will be doing i'll be imparting more and more knowledge like how design thinking and artificial intelligence work together how you can do business design what are the industrial use cases so i will come up with different different topics i'll get them recorded and i'll put it across my social media so that you guys can go uh subscribe you know be a part of this so you will keep getting certain knowledge around design thinking as and when i keep adding it right so so this is one of the workshop recommendations so this is just for your information guys um, uh, so i happened to spend some weekend with uh, one of the uh, few batches and one of the person was from the uh, from from the healthcare industry is a senior vice president and he gave me this very fabulous uh, recommendation how he liked the complete 16 hours of workshops i'm not going to read through it but you can take a screenshot or look into it basically it says that uh, i have that knowledge the methodology and the way and how i understand design thinking and how i teach people design thinking so um, you can say kishore he was like he was like design thinking was pretty much new to him and he was he he came to know about design thinking in and out uh, at the at the 16 hours of workshop when it got end so this is a, this is just a you know reference to that um okay so like i was saying first my introduction a little bit about me which i just completed now this is a very important slide of this particular webinar the first series here uh, this is a very powerful slide i'm going to tell you like how design thinking is applied across all the industry why second how design thinking is practiced is respective of your role from a very 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 generic standpoint so you really have to understand what i'm going to say right now it's an outcome of a research that i have done in past 6 years it's it's i you will never find this kind of information anywhere else uh, across the globe is what i could say so this is something which i have curated by myself right so this will really help you understand how no matter you are a psychologist you are working in a clinic you are a ceo you are a startup you are an entrepreneur design thinking is right for you how i'm going to show you right now right very generic guys this is very generic you have to actually relate it with your profession okay which is very important if you are not able to relate put a comment in below or get connected with me which i will let you know at the end of the slide how you can get connected with me okay so this is very important slide so stay with me uh, just unlearn if you know anything about design thinking just unlearn it look it from a fresh perspective and try to understand how i'm going to you know take you through that journey right so this is a proverb necessity is the mother of all invention right it's a very famous proverb we, we don't know who has written it but i've taken this very important i'll let you know why i have put it here right so let's go through this classical flow uh, this flow is designed by me so uh, let's take it very generic and just understand the flow very quickly and then i will give you an exact example how it fits into this and how it is connecting with design thinking right so need right so what is what is need need could be anything that uh, we look for like you know uh, it could be like uh, way back in thomas edison he found that uh, 
there's no uh, light during the night, right? So that was a need uh, of of him and a lot of other people, right? So when that become a necessity uh, of a lot of people or one people or multiple people, when that when a particular need becomes necessity, right? So it could be any need which becomes necessity. The human beings start thinking about how to, you know, uh, tackle or ensure that necessity is getting fulfilled. So they start thinking how to fulfill that a need and that necessity. Then they start designing it, right? They start thinking and they start designing it. So here's the element that comes in the design thinking, right? So the how you think and how you design to solve that particular problem, need, requirement, or whatever you call, right? We start thinking and designing it and you invent something to, uh, you know, fulfill that need or necessity, right? So what do you produce? Uh, the uh, You can only produce a product or a service. You cannot produce anything else, right? So, and I'll tell you the reason why. If you, if you ask, if I ask you one question, do you find any industry, right? Do you find any industry across the globe that is not, okay? that is not producing a product or service. If I ask you this question, and if you think about it, and if you think about it deep, you will, you will not find an industry which is not producing a product or service. Every industry across the world, across the globe, they either produce product or service. As simple as that. Even NGO, if you take example, they are producing service for example, or they have many services, but for example, old age, right? They are giving comfort to the old age people, right? Even, um, yeah, so think about any industry, aerospace, defense. So defense is protecting our nation, aerospace is doing uh, um, uh, exploration and stuff like that for many other things. And uh, all those things like, you know, furniture industry, automobile, automobile helps human being to reach from one point to another point. Airlines, point A to point B helps you travel across the country. If you're an accountant, you're helping people to tax, uh, file their tax, I'm sorry, right? Every industry, guys, I'm, just think about yourself, like what job you're doing. I mean, are you in construction company? You're helping people to, you know, stay in a beautiful house or probably you're building a stadium so that people can come and watch and enjoy the football match or, you know, things like that, right? So whatever thing you are doing, no matter which industry you are, when you step out, when you do, when you go out to do certain work, you're basically producing, at the end of the day, it is tying back to a product or a service. Very important, right? You guys will come to know why I'm talking about all these things, right? Now, what is this product and service doing? It's adding comfort, as simple as that, guys. If, if it doesn't add comfort to human being or, for example, pets or whatever, but basically I will say it adds comfort to human being. If it doesn't add a comfort to human being, it doesn't make sense. You will never buy for it. Have you? If I ask you the second question, have you ever brought anything, any product or service, just, just like that, without anything, without any adding value, right? Just look around yourself. Like I can see uh, a table, a laptop, a mouse, internet, you know, AC, things like that, car, mobile. Why, why do we buy this? I, I don't see anything around me or you won't find anything around you that you just brought it for nothing, right? So, so every industry is helping you to bring a product or service that will add value to you, right? Now, the same thing which I was talking about Thomas Edison, this is an example which I promised. So Thomas Edison, when he felt the need, so if you see this bold letters is quickly connected with this. When the need becomes necessary, people start thinking. And when, as Thomas Edison felt there's a necessity of light, he designed a bulb and he invented a bulb. And as on today, we are using this bulb across. It has evolved, it has become better. We are using it in our bikes, our car, our home. Uh, airlines, a lot of other places we are using, right? What is it doing? It's adding comfort, right? It's adding comfort for us to look around when there is no light, right? So this connects to all the industry. So guys, if you are in any industry, design thinking, so coming back to the crux of it, what does design thinking means by all these things? It means that no matter which industry you are in, no matter what role you are in, you should know or design thinking approach will help you understand how to empathize with the end user. So if you are going to work and you are doing your work, you're ultimately adding a comfort to end user. If 
it will help you to think from that perspective like how my job is adding comfort or adding value to certain group of people and when you know that when you start thinking from that perspective then you understand the importance of your job like if i don't do my job how many people are in the world is going to get impacted so it becomes important that you do your work properly and stuff like that plus it gives you that mindset talking to your management becoming more and more experienced when you become in your own field and when you start doing design thinking it's when you become a little bit more experienced and stuff and uh, in design thinking workshop we bring the people together and we see how better we can help people i'm just taking a very classical example if it is an account if you if, if you are an accountant as on today i am able to file my tax very easily online previously people have to go do the print out take xerox get it signed get it approved then upload it then you know uh, get something envelope uh, post it and it has to reach income tax department they have to look into it oh my god it it was like mess right but when design thinking came into picture uh, when they started thinking about how this can be streamlined we have everything online right so these are the things so we'll look into use cases in some of the industry which we are going to look at you'll come to know how different industries are using design thinking but but the reason why i gave you an example of accountant is it gives because account is something or tax filing is something which we all are aware of right we all go through tax filing and we all know like today we can do it online and how it has helped so it is coming through design thinking right so this is how it is so definitely the answer is yes if you if there's no doubt that you should not learn design thinking no matter which industry which level which role you are into right it's very important okay so now what is design thinking this is my definition i hate definitions i like to teach people design thinking in a very pragmatic approach or in a very experiential learning process but just for the sake of this put like design thinking in as is an approach now this approach is something very um, important to learn and it takes time and even if you learn it after some practice you can implement it and um you know so so that's an approach we'll talk about it in a different workshops and 15 hours of workshops and everything but just understand that design thinking is kind of an approach or a mindset and in that mindset what we do is we try to understand the end user pain point or it could be a frustration or a need or anything like who is my end user and what is his need of pain point if you know that you will be able to produce ideas right now why i'm saying ideas and why i'm saying design thinking is for everyone because idea can come from anyone right even if you're an accountant if you're a fresher you just started your career you can bring an idea to on board and even and it it might be difficult for a ceo of a company to bring that idea i'm just giving an example right just the opposites of all, both the side it could be opposite like maybe a fresher may not get an idea but a ceo may get an idea but what i'm saying is design thinking is for everyone for all the end users Uh, of the company to come together um and you know give certain ideas to solve the problem of your end user right so whichever industry you are into a manager senior manager designers uh, ceo some end users even like when people in accounts they wanted to you know um, they they wanted to make it uh, make a proper uh, online they actually invited the end user who was actually filing the tax right so they come in and they say hey i have this problem it's difficult for me to ta- do this taxation i don't file my tax or i missed to file my tax because i did not post it or something like that then the idea comes to solve those problems right so this is what design thinking will do it will solve the complex problems and try to bring a solution and it will what it will ultimately do is it will add better user experience right at the end of the day i was always saying it's comfort right so design thinking will bring that comfort level it will enhance the experience it will make a better user experience no matter what it is it could be your chair it could be your laptop it could be your mouse it could be your car everything is getting enhanced every day the need the expectation um is is growing more and more right so yeah i think it's it's for all the industry um now getting into uh, so once you know the design thinking what it is let's take a little deep dive into few brands like we have pepsico stanford ge bank of um, uh, you know uh, just give me a second guys
All right. Uh, sorry for that. So um, there was some background noise. Um, okay. So these are the few companies, but I'm telling you all the all the major companies, major S and P, right? Major stakeholding companies like Google, IBM, you know, Netflix, you name it. They all are using design thinking, right? So let's take a look into a PepsiCo. Like we take a uh, use case of PepsiCo and we'll see how it helped them. So Pepsi, we all know it's a it's a beverage company and they sell this Pepsi, uh, the beverage, the drink, right? Uh, uh, the sparkling water, if you call in the different country. So uh, sometimes they found like they were not able to make some sales and something like that. And when they used design thinking, they were able to understand the consumer need. Now the consumer need could be, I'm just giving an example. Probably they came to know that, okay, there is a person who's traveling, there are a lot of people who travel to office or they're just walking somewhere in a beach or whatever it is. And they just, they just don't go, they want to buy or drink, but uh, they don't get into because it's too much of line or they have to keep waiting and stuff like that, right? So when they come to know this user need or the pain point, what they did is they started a vending machine. So there's a vending machine. If you just wanted to go and have a sip of it, just put some money, you get your Pepsi out, done. Right? So this was one of the idea, the vending machine, which Pepsi did through design thinking, and they were able to increase their sales drastically, right? So they won't be able to do it until they know what the customer wants, right? And if you don't do that through design thinking, you will end up doing or selling wrong thing to the wrong people in a wrong time in a wrong location, and you will never success. No matter how good the product is, you might be selling it in a wrong place, right? I mean, definitely you cannot sell um, a, a toy uh, in an industry uh, or in, in some industry because they, the need is different, right? Maybe I give you a wrong example, but what I'm trying to say is you cannot try to sell a kid's toy um, uh, in some, I mean, you can sell kid's toy in, a, in an amusement park or in a zoo where most of the kids are coming in. Uh, but then if you wanted to sell your refrigerator or something like if you try to sell that in a zoo or probably may or may not be able to sell it or something like that right so it will really help you understand where your customer is what is their need what is their pain point and try to solve it right so basically i'm just giving that idea so i think you got the gist of it how it is how it has helped pepsi and this is a similar way how it is going to help a lot of other brands and a lot of other companies and even if you're a startup or an entrepreneur design thinking is really really going to help you right so uh, uh that's how it's, it's, it's going to uh be be helpful right okay now going to another one now this is a survey that i've been conducted okay now before i go here let me tell you this is one use case of pepsi i will be doing a lot of other webinars where i will be giving a very detailed use cases of various industries, automobile, uh, uh, different different kind of uh, uh, um, you know things. All right, um, sorry for that. Um, okay, so okay, design thinking statistics. So this is very important. So how design thinking is helping the different different industries, right? So if you see design thinking adds value now this is from my perspective like if our organization startup or even big mncs if they become design-led company first of all it adds a personal value like um, if i'm an accountant or whatever it adds a personal value uh it has its own philosophy behind it which i'm not going to talk right now but maybe it's some other webinar it adds employee value and automatically it adds your client value and business value client is nothing but your end user right so the outcome or which has statistically been proven after using design thinking the stock market of you know the big the, the companies who have invested into it they have seen 219 percent increase at least in the last decade that their stock has gone high typically the, in the industries who have used or taken the design led initiative right and in one of the survey that we conducted not we but it was conducted by one of the organization um, uh, it confirmed that 75% of the organization, they said that they are using uh, design thinking initiative directly or indirectly, right? So this is a very huge percentage. And in this 21st century, this, the first stepping stone or the first step that an industry takes even before making a decision, before purchasing a technology or doing anything, they first consult with design thinkers or they first do 
uh, or think from a design thinking from an end user perspective. And if you really want to understand your end user, empathize with them, understand the need, they they take a step back and they they do come up with design thinking initiatives, right? So that is very important. Now this is uh, uh, this is my approach uh, which I have designed, and uh, I call it RK sevenfold design thinking approach. I won't go through it in detail. We cover it mostly in our uh, uh, in a in a workshop and stuff because each of them to understand will take at least an hour and the workshop another one hour right so but then these are certain jargons that we use in design thinking how do you do per, how do you create a persona like which is understanding your end user how do you empathize with them aism is nothing but as the scenario mapping um ideate or ideation w3 is nothing but who what and wow factor prototyping it and to be scenarios like how the experience got changed from as a scenario to to be scenario. I know this would be a little bit heavy for you to digest if you are new to design thinking, but don't worry. I'll let you the I'll let you know the link to one of the uh, you know training if you're very new and if you want to understand what design thinking is in depth. I'll let you know it. And if you really are interested more further, we can engage in certain workshops, right? But then. Um, uh, don't worry about it. The main intention of this webinar for you, everybody here is to make sure that design thinking is every, for everyone and you should practice it. You should know what it is because it's there in all the industry and all industries getting this DNA, uh, you know, embracing the DNA of design thinking in their organization. So it's very important for us to know what it is, right? So where to apply? design thinking, you can apply it to any service, you can apply it to any product to improve the product and improve the service, right? So that is pretty clear. Now, when to apply is you can apply reactively, like if the organization is not performing well or something like that, you can apply, but I don't recommend re reactive application. I, I or all the design thinkers will say proactive application, which is nothing but intermittent enhancement. For example, how do you do proactive application of uh, design thinking to your service or product? You can do intermittent enhancement. You can do continuous service improvement or continuous product improvements. You can do small ideation or innovations that you can bring into your current product or service. And then you can beat the competition in the market, right? So how Netflix is on the top, right? How certain car service manufacturing is on the top, right? Like uh, there are certain brands like uh, Pampers, why they're on the top, right? Because they, they, they really empathize uh, and they, they know their end user, right? So, and for example, iPhone. iPhone is uh, serving a very uh, premium segment of people. They know their premium, what is the need, frustration, requirement of that premium segment of people, right? And, they, and that is the reason why they keep, uh, uh, you know, uh, selling this product every, every six months or one year, you will see a new iPhone in the market. Why? Because they know who the end users are. They know their premium segment. They know where they are located. They know what, pain point they are going with the current iPhone 12 or X or whatever it is, right? So they know that, right? And that's why when they, they, they put a new product in the market, those premium segment people are bound to buy that product, right? And that's how it is in the top notch, right? Just an example out there, right? So moving here, design thinking advanced workshop table. So this is, this is a complete thing that you would like to know and there's a complete curriculum. We slice and dice it differently. Don't think it's just two day workshop. I normally started giving it in like six weeks now, like Saturday, Sunday, there's two hours. You guys can join and you can understand the entire design thinking, what it is all about, right? And it will be really a uh, fun way of doing it and no one is going to sleep in the class, right? Just two hours, very interactive, very, experiential learning and stuff like that, right? So how to connect with me? Now, this is very important, like I told you. So let me stop the screen sharing and share it back to you so that you can see how you can get connected with me, right? So let me uh, uh, share, uh, sorry, uh, my entire screen maybe, uh, hold on, uh, stop the sharing and uh, let me, share my complete screen uh, and if you want to connect with me um, the best way is this right please take a note of this very simple that's linktree um, l-i-n-k-t-r dot e-e slash c-c-care dot r-k so what i'll do is if 
this is a recorded thing which i will be putting it in all my social media i'll put the description down below somewhere but if you go here i keep updating it so like i promised if you click here it will take you to the udemy design thinking practitioner certificate course which is designed by me you can go ahead and you can understand design thinking in detail what it is all about and you'll get all the information out there i would say it's like a foundation level course which will help you if you're a beginner if you want to know in detail what design thinking does it has like more than 30 36 uh, lectures out there and a lot of uh, you know what do you call a uh, lot of assignments are there which you can take care as well so go ahead for it if you are new it will really help you now second thing if you want to chat with me you can just click here now when you click here you will see that it take you to facebook so it's important that you have a facebook account so when you click it take you to the messenger and you can see a lot of people here across different universities and uh, you know people are getting connected with me so this is me just talking to myself so basically you will see all these uh, um, things over here and you can just say hi rk i want some help and what not and i and you can see here there's none of the messages are unread over here right you will see like you know whenever i get anybody sending me any message i reply to them within a day so just feel free to ask me any questions it's free or you can get in touch with me right so this is my facebook account facebook business page you can call just connect with me follow me it will really help me to bring this uh, information back to you i'm just doing it for uh, my hobby i really like but then i really like people when they start following me and they ask some questions to me it it it, it really really helps me right and motivates me so please go to this site um, uh, see if you can leverage udemy course chat with me go to my linkedin facebook twitter instagram account and if i'm adding my youtube and other channels please go ahead try to follow me subscribe me and you know just just be connected with me is all what i'm asking so uh, if you do that will really motivate me and definitely you will also get a value of our design thinking right so um, again i'm just putting this information or this thing in the chat here or in the um hmm this is strange okay how to connect with me is here so what i can do is i can just paste it here so in case uh, you want to take a screenshot of it or take it from comment or anywhere you can feel free to take it right so it's here so now you know how to connect with me right so yeah please go ahead and connect and and the last thing that i was talking about the workshop so if you want to engage in a very interactive workshop with me you can also you know uh, click that and let me know your requirement we can engage in a workshop as well but then other than workshop if you have any questions about design thinking just take the free consultation from me i'll really help you from last 17 years of experience that i have i was able to help pretty much all the all my clients and all my students across the world so uh, feel free to uh, you know leverage uh, this opportunity and uh, we we can be definitely in touch and stuff like that so i think um, that was about it in my next session which i'm going to cover it will be i'll be bringing a lot of other topics so this i was doing from last uh, couple of months i was doing it i was just doing the same webinar over and over again so i thought like why don't i record it and put it in all my social media and other webinars i can make it more interactive i can bring more use cases from automobile industry from a defense industry and you know um, pharma pharma industry and stuff like that so people can know like how design thinking is helping different different verticals so maybe i'll be doing my next webinar would be on a something very different topic uh but all those webinars to be honest it will be on a very high level but if you really wanted to know how design if you really want to learn understand practice design thinking i would recommend you to be a part of uh, uh, uh you, you know uh, the udemy or connect with me for some workshop but definitely i'll be sending across all these uh, information so that you know how powerful design thinking is so um, yeah i think uh, follow me in all those social media so that you can get the latest updates on our latest uh, use cases how the design thinking is helping um i will be also putting my workshops which i do uh, a lot of workshops that i do with my students i will 
put a gist of it in uh, uh, my next video would be more around the workshops that I've conducted. So I'll show you how people are using what tools I use, a little bit of sneak peek around the workshops so that will give you an idea how it is, right? So I think that was all about it. And uh, thank you for staying back. Uh, let me check if I have any chat questions. I see one chat uh, coming in uh, asking for something. Let me see what it is. Um, yeah, so I think Anna is saying thank you. Uh, thanks, Anna. Uh, so yeah, I think that was all about it. So guys, thank you. Uh, thank you for staying back. And I'll upload it uh, across uh, this one. And this is the first video that is going to hit and a lot of other informative sessions and webinars going to come. Uh, so you can have a look into it. Business design, design thinking for artificial intelligence, uh, use cases across industries. A lot of things are in the pipeline um, that I would be doing in the coming uh, sessions. And you will have a lot of links uh, that's coming through Facebook, LinkedIn, and all across the social media. So just one request, please connect with me, follow me, subscribe, and stuff like that, right? So you know all these things. Uh, great. So. So thank you everyone. See you in the next webinar. Much appreciated. Bye-bye.